When I came on board in 2002, I had a vision for the pageant to turn into a theatrical event. We have these beautiful floats, but it's actually the people that bring the floats to life. We created dance groups behind every band. So then we had a lot of light and colour happening. The pageant began in 1933. You know, it's been a success for all of those years since. I think the reason it's lasted that test of time is, uh, you know, really positive images that are out there. Uh, we've got the Nipper and Nimble that started in the very first parade. They've stayed, so people like tradition. The event itself is a tradition. It's become an icon in South Australia. Fast forward now to um, 2017, and we have over 170 theatrical sets, over 60 floats, nearly 20 bands. They're all accompanied by dance groups, um, and the audience averages out about 320,000 a year. You know, ever since the pageant started, the city of Adelaide played a big role in, uh, in its production, effectively. We go, our stage are the roads of Adelaide. So each year we have people from the city of Adelaide actually help us with our planning. The Credit Union Christmas pageant is an enormous exercise. We start off probably in February where we're really kicking off the building of new floats. That build doesn't stop until October. Um, sometimes right up to pageant evening and I've got a few stories I could tell you about that. We have 120 makeup uh, volunteers, we have uh, 80 drivers who come along. The numbers are incredible, I think about 4,500 people touch this event during the course of the year. This year's the 85th year of the pageant. How exciting is that and how great is it for South Australia to have an event that's lasted that long?